Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5. So, let's continue where we left off, and the plan right now is to wait for the research agreement, use them to get a few military techs, I already queued them up. I'll likely go for chemistry before researching any of this. That will give us a production increase, and it will give us cannons. And then we can attack Arabia. Arabia only has four cities, they are also the least advanced AI, not counting Venice, but I'm not really counting Venice for anything at this point. And once we take Mecca, Arabia will be more or less out of this game. And Mecca actually has Petra. Mecca is a pretty good city, it has quite a few desert tiles in range. It has at least three desert hills. So combined with Petra, that's going to be really nice. It has four or even five desert hills. Yep, that's a pretty good city, I definitely want that. So, let's continue then. I'll need some more melee units. We got quite a few ranged units. We can get four crossbowmen. That's not too bad. In fact, I think I'll just move this guy to Puerto Cabello. Yep, sounds good. I don't think Ethiopia will attack me. No. If anyone is going to attack me, it's going to be Arabia. I don't think they will do it, but it's technically possible. Not to mention I'll need all these units to attack Mecca anyway. I could maybe get Arabia to fight someone. Would Byzantium declare war on them? Melima. Let's see, no, not Bismarck. Arabia. Yeah, they actually would. Are they at war with anyone? No, not anymore. I think it's worth it getting them to fight each other. Melima. They want a luxury. This is probably going to be around 10 gold per turn. But I think it's worth it. Let's maybe wait a few turns, because there's no huge rush. We'll have to wait like 30 turns to be able to attack. But I want to get Arabia to fight someone, and Byzantium is more or less their only neighbor, not counting myself. Alright, let's move across. Machinery is almost done. Once we finish machinery, we'll start spamming some distilleries. The jungle tiles will be so nice with distilleries, because that's plus one gold and plus one food, and it doesn't remove the jungle, which means we'll get three food, one gold, and two science. That's so nice. And that's on just a regular jungle tile. Alright, next. I switched the library to a lighthouse, because we really need a lighthouse in this city. It's going to grow so much faster with a lighthouse. It has four tiles that can take advantage of the lighthouse. Alright, I think we finished something in Tortugan now. Four turns to finish the university, alright. What's this? Some deal with Bismarck? What was that? Oh, I think that was just gold for the research agreement or something like that. Speaking of research agreements, we actually need one more with Theodora, but she doesn't have enough gold at the moment. Which means it will have to wait. Also, I really need to get two more trade routes. So we should maybe work on that ASAP. We'll just get some cargo ships after the workshop and after the university. The workshop in Tortuga will have to wait a bit. I need these trade routes. We can get a lot of gold from them. So that's definitely worth it. Horses to Austria. Yep, we can sell some more horses, as long as they are still buying. Which they should be. 135. And we could maybe sell one iron. Possibly. I could even sell both, I suppose. I mean, I'll be getting the musket men soon, and we won't be getting frigates anytime soon. Which means we won't really need iron anytime soon. Alright, let's sell the iron. I need gold more than I need that. I still have to upgrade all the crossbowmen. I mean, all the composite bowmen to crossbowmen. So that's going to cost us like 600 gold once we finish machinery. Alright, so what about you guys? What should we get? I think we should get started on the road to Nassau, because we will obviously need that. Yep, let's get started on that. Declaration of friendship with Russia. Yeah, we can extend that. I don't plan going to war with Russia. At least not yet. 
AIs are spamming quite a few wonders. But fortunately, it's not just one AI spamming all of them. Also, one more thing we can do is get open borders with Byzantium. Because I kind of want them to spread my religion, or to spread their religion to my cities. So, yeah. How's Germany doing? Let's check their deals. They are friends with Byzantium. We could maybe get them to backstab Byzantium. Oh, also they have dice. And Nassau wants dice. That's probably worth buying. I would have to pay 9 gold per turn, but the extra city growth is worth it. So would he actually attack Byzantium? Yeah, he would, but he's asking for quite a lot. That's probably not worth it right now. And I don't want him to actually take their cities. That would be bad. He's getting quite strong, actually. So there's machinery and the research argument, which means we'll get steel in just a moment. Alright, well, let's upgrade all these composite bowmen. That's going to cost us 145 gold per unit. Okay, fine. And we'll need a new research agreement. I need so much gold, which is why I need these cargo ships. Badly. Yeah, this should be a little bit faster. We should finish that workshop, though. Alright. What else can we do? The road is done. So that's good. That will improve our income a little bit. I think I should send multiple workers to work on the road to Nassau. Yep, that will give us more gold quicker. Plus one pop in Tortuga. We should work the specialist slots. Looks good. Any more specialist slots anywhere? Not yet, no. Puerto Cabela will get scientists. In two turns. So, I don't think I'll be waiting for the armories. I will build barracks, but I don't think I have the time to wait for armories. As much as I like the extra experience, we need to get started on unit recruitment. Like, right now. Or not literally right now, but soon. There's steel. And we can make a proposal. Probably the world's fair. Sure, I wouldn't mind the policy. And the relations boost with most of the AIs. Alright, let's go help with that road. This one is already done. So off you go. We can just move these guys like so. Yep, sounds good. And like this. Are you done with that mine? Yes, you are. Nice. Come on, Byzantium, spread your religion more. No, not interested. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's continue that road. Actually, we should just use all four workers. I see no reason not to. It will be faster that way. And Puerto Cabello. Work the scientist slots. And we need the city to grow a little bit faster than that. We'll just lock all the food tiles. Three hammers per turn. That's not very good, but yeah. This city still needs a granary. Yep, we definitely need that. Alright. Next. Are we there yet? Yep, keep working on the road. Still got more spices to improve, but our border didn't expand there just yet. And you can also help with the road. I just want to be done with that road as soon as possible. Plus one population in Nassau, good. Yep, this looks fine to me. I might have to buy that fish near the city. Is the border going to expand anytime soon? Yeah, in five turns. Okay. But it looks like we might get the planes, which would be disappointing. I might have to buy both these tiles, but we'll wait for the lighthouse first. I don't think Ethiopia will steal that tile, 
that's four tiles away from his city. He might, but we'll have to wait anyway. So another farm, and he can go work on other things. Well, we should go work on the distilleries, that was kind of the whole point of going for machinery. So, can we get Byzantium to attack Arabia now? Or a little bit cheaper than previously, I mean. Yeah! That's not as much gold. But I only got 11 gold per turn right now. I think we'll have to wait for the cargo ships. Then again, I don't need the... Yeah, I do need the gold to buy some tiles, never mind. Distillery, that's plus one food compared to the plantation. As for the caravan, we need a safer trade route. So, Nassau to Byzantium. That looks safe to me. Well, we got a boss with pretty much everyone. We are super friendly with everyone in this game. That doesn't happen very often. 8 gold per turn and 3 science, that's good enough for me. And work the university slots, like so. And what's next? Probably a workshop. Yep, we need workshops. Port Royal. I don't think I want to work that engineer slot just yet. Yeah, the city needs to grow. Man. And we got physics. Gunpowder is next. And we also need more research agreements. I need so much gold for so many things right now. Let's grab a research agreement with Ethiopia. Oh no, I need 15 more gold, literally. Alright, that's just one turn. I can live with that. Plus one population in Port Royal. We need some more tiles with food. We are running out of good tiles with food. I'll just have to build farms. Or distilleries. Research element with Russia. Yep, that works. Hurry up with the cargo ships. We should get like 30 gold per turn from these two cargo ships alone. And one more road section. Let's grab it on the hill. Like so. And I think we should improve the spices because we can still sell that. Yep. I'm pretty sure we can still sell that to someone. Alright, carry on. I'll get the distillery near Tortuga first because that city needs more improvements. It really does. So on this tile first, that's a road, and you can also get a distillery or a mine. Well, we need to prioritize something, but Nassau could really use more production. On the other hand, without more food, it's not going to grow. Let's just get a distillery then. Alright, next, let's have a chat with Byzantium really quick. Seven gold per turn still. All right, that's a little bit too much right now. Arabia only just entered Renaissance era. Okay. Yeah, they are just like two techs ahead of me. 30 technologies and we got also 30 technologies. They are on par with me. That's good. They are the least advanced AI, not counting Venice, but as I said, Venice Argent doesn't Pearl. really count in this game anymore. Distillery. And the cargo ship is almost done. That's going to be the trade route too, from nah, Tortuga no. to La Libella. That's one of the top three trade routes right now, and we're not working that one yet. So off you go, that's 15 gold per turn. And workshop is next, and then we'll start recruiting some units. I don't need that workshop. Yeah, I do. No question about that. Alright, everything looks fine. 22 turns to grow. I don't think we can do better than that right now. No, not right now. Alright, next. No open borders for you. Nope, not interested. Two turns to get the pagoda. I think that's the last building we can face by right now. Yeah, it pretty much is, not counting the monasteries. But it's not really worth getting monasteries. It might be worth getting one in Puerto Cabello. 
but I'm not entirely convinced. Can we get one here? Yeah, we can, right? How much would that cost us? 220 faith. I'm not seeing it on the list. Why is it not on the list? That's strange. It should be on the list, we got the religion. Oh no, that's the wrong religion, is it? Yeah, that's actually the wrong religion. I thought Arabia had that. No, it's Ethiopia that has the monasteries. Yeah, I was thinking about the incense. But it's Ethiopia with monasteries. It's definitely not worth buying one here. If I had the wine, then maybe, but I don't. So, next policy. That's going to be maritime infrastructure. We need that production so badly. I'm glad we got that. So that will speed things up a bit. Alright, next. Now, question is, do we want to work the trade route from Puerto Cabello to La Libella? That might not be entirely safe once I go to war with Arabia, but that's going to be the best trade route. So I think I'll do it. I'm pretty sure that's the best trade route by a significant margin. Yeah, it pretty much is. We could also work this one. That's 12 gold per turn, that's a little bit better. And safer. Arabia won't be able to pillage that. So what about that lighthouse? 8 turns and 7 turns for the border to expand. I want to save some gold, so let's just wait. I'll buy the other fish tile once the border expands. Not much point buying it right now anyway other than preventing Ethiopia from getting it, but I'm pretty sure Ethiopia won't get that. Move the units around. Alright, plus one population. Let's see, we need to work some food, otherwise the city won't grow very well. Finish the granary and then get the workshop. Yep, sounds good. We still got quite a lot of excess happiness. And we can sell spices. Can we sell spices to someone else? Yes, to Austria. We can get some flat gold that way. Or we can get silk. Let's get the silk. Before they sell it to someone else. I can't get the silk myself, unfortunately. Alright. So, the road is almost done. No, it's done. The city is connected. Let's get that mine. We need more production in Nassau. And we'll start working on some distilleries. So now all we have to do is just wait for more units. I just need a melee unit or two. We have quite a lot of ranged, but only one single melee unit. That's not really enough. And it's definitely not safe to attack like that. I would normally build armories at this point, but I don't think I have the time to wait for that. We got a great scientist, nice. So let's grab that academy right here. Or... Yeah, we'll grab it right here. Yep, sounds good. And make sure we're working it. 19 turns for the city to grow. I hate losing production, but... I need my capital to grow. If we give up that one food... By moving... Well, I guess I could move this guy. But that tile will get a distillery in seven turns. We can move it for now and move it back later. Yep, because if I lose one food, the city will need 29 turns instead of 19. That's a pretty big difference right there. So I need that one extra food. That's going to be a mine. And I suppose we should chop that forest on the hill. Yep, might as well do that. Off you go. And gunpowder is almost done. Chemistry is next. Yep. When is the next research agreement? 14 turns. I still need to sign more research agreements, but we need gold. Not with yours. <laughs> yeah, he heard what I was saying. So, gunpowder. I don't think Arabia has that yet. At least it doesn't look like it. Speaking of Arabia, can we steal something? Yeah, we'll steal something on the next turn. Hopefully. And Lalibela, yep. 13 gold per turn is still good enough. The creation of friendship with Othsha expired. We can extend that. Alright, fingers crossed. I need my spy to not get killed. You hear me? Don't fail. 
You're not allowed to fail. Okay, we can steal something. Shibari. That looks like the only option. That's fine. Let's grab Shibari then. There we go. And five turns to chop this. Do we have anything queued up? Yeah, library. Alright, I suppose we can chop that. Ethiopia is sending a settler. Where are you sending that settler, Ethiopia? They might settle on top of the gems, which would be really, really annoying. Might want to block that tile. Just in case. Yeah, I don't want them to start an awkward city right outside of my capital. That would be bad. He might be heading in that direction. Where is he going? I think he's inside the fog of war right now. Yeah, I can't allow him to start a city there. There's no way. I won't let that happen. Port Royal to Lalibela. And there's the distillery. We'll work that right away. Like so, and we'll get more distilleries. That was kind of the whole point. Work the bananas. Yep, still 15 turns to grow. Alright. Let's just work on some distilleries. And Tortuga has one now. Should probably get the farms near Tortuga. Working tiles with one foot, one hammer is not a very good idea. Or at least it's not very efficient, to say the least. Just checking the cities quickly. No, I'm not giving you open borders. Yep, I think he was going to start a city on the gems. That would be bad. I'm not going to let that happen. No city for you, buddy. Declaration of friendship with Ethiopia. Yep, we will extend that for sure. And the other one, wine. Nine happiness. Yeah, let's just get the wine. I wouldn't want him to sell it to someone else. We'll need that happiness in the future. We don't need it right now, but we'll need it in the future. Farm. Alright, let's queue up a musket man. We do have barracks in Tortuga. And queue up a musket man in Port Royal, like that. Alright, and we'll wait for these two guys. And then declare war? I wouldn't mind a cannon or two. But I need at least two decent melee units. A pikeman doesn't really count as a decent melee unit. Not against camel archers, that's for sure. I'll just keep that crossbowman here for now. Yep. Anything going on? New research element, Byzantium and Ethiopia, alright. I wonder if I could get them to attack each other. Probably not. But hey, we can always check. No. And other way around? Let's check other way around. Melima. Nope. It was worth trying. What's Germany doing? Not a whole lot. Was nun? Can we get them to attack someone? Robert. What about Austria? No, he's asking for es a little bit too much. Interesse, dass ihr dieses Angebot sorgfältig prüft. Es nope. What about Byzantium? Are they willing to attack Arabia Melima. for a little bit less than previously? Nope. But now I'm getting 51 gold per turn. I think we should do this. Melima. That will make them fight each other because they are direct neighbors. Alright, I'm going to accept this. That's a pretty decent deal now that I got 50 gold per turn. And hopefully that will keep them busy. It will make them fight each other. Hopefully Arabia will lose some units. Accept. Leaning Tower of Pisa for Ethiopia. I don't like that. And Bismarck entered Industrial Era. Okay. 36 stacks and 36 stacks for Germany. We got 32 stacks ourselves. But still three more research agreements. We need more research agreements. And I still need to buy that tile. So let's just do that now that we have the lighthouse. Might want to just work all of them. And we'll have to get some work boards too. And this one, I don't want to spend too much gold, and it's not like Ethiopia will steal that tile. We'll just work the farm, or the wheat, I mean. Yep, sounds good, and queue up some work boards after that, because we'll obviously need them. I don't like how Ethiopia got the Leaning Tower. But alright. So what is that settler going to do? I don't want him here, that's for sure. Anything else we can do? 
Not a whole lot. How's Tortuga doing? I mean, Port Royal. It will grow in 13 turns. The distillery is done. So we'll finish that. And... Well... 13 turns is not terrible. I can live with that. I could get one more food, but at the cost of sacrificing some hammers or signs. I'm not willing to do that, no. 13 turns is reasonable. Friendly trade route plundered. Oh no, that was just a trade route someone was sending to us. Plus one population in Tortuga. I guess we'll work the workshop slot, because that's the best thing we can do with our citizen right now. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next part. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.